Assalamu alaikum beautiful people before starting the video i request you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay tuned with my latest updates so today's recipe is actually a little bit different but trust me it will become your favorite once you give a try to it i don't care how it actually spells molakhia molakhia or what you call it because regardless of the name this is one of my favorite comfort foods it's a traditional egyptian soup that was typically eaten by the people in ancient egypt but eventually became very common all over the gulf and arab countries you can have this with pita bread and egyptian vermicelli rice as well so let's get started I have taken around half kg of mutton. You can also use mutton chops as they really taste great. One full teaspoon of coriander powder, big sliced white onion, preferably white. If you do not have that white, you can use the normal one also. Round seven to eight cardamoms and one full cup of water. Add these in a pressure cooker and cook around five to six whistles on medium to low flame or until your mutton gets well tendered. Now let's check out whether the mutton has been tendered with the fork. See it's easily going. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be transferring it in a bigger bowl. Now add one cube of beef stock. Then add one medium sized mashed tomato and one full teaspoon of garlic paste and lastly add some salt to taste close the lid and let it cook on slow flame for around four to five minutes meanwhile let's prepare the malakhaya mix for that i'm taking one packet of frozen malakhaya which is around 400 grams i have defrozen it and I'm removing it in a white open bowl which will be easier for me to mix. Then add 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and 1 full teaspoon of grated or mashed garlics. Mix well and keep it aside. Hopefully till now the mutton should be well tendered and fully cooked. So at this moment remove the mutton pieces and transfer it to another bowl. Keep that aside and slow down the flame. Now add the molakhaya mix slowly in the soup or vice versa. You can add the soup in the molakhaya mix to keep the control over the consistency you desire. Slow down the flame and let it cook. Meanwhile, let's prepare for tempering. For that, in a small pan, add one and a half tablespoon of butter. Olive oil can be the optional choice. Then add 2 teaspoons of mashed garlics and 1 teaspoon of coriander powder to it and fry it until light brown. Now when you start seeing the bubbles or the froth coming over the molakhya, it's the time to add the tempering to the molakhya and mix it well. And yeah, it's almost ready. Now close the lid of the flame and serve hot. Now you can see how sticky it has bacon. It really tastes yummy. Now what you need to do with the mutton pieces which was kept aside is simply fry it in a pan. Add some butter, add the pieces of mutton and fry until you see the pieces partially starts to get burned and enjoy it with mulakhia. You can have this with the pita bread or the Egyptian rice which is also called as the Egyptian vermicelli rice. I will be soon uploading the videos on my YouTube channel. They actually make a great combination along with molokhia. I have also prepared a chicken molokhia. I will be uploading a video soon. Until then stay tuned, hit the bell notification and please do subscribe if you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Take care. Ma salama. Washing hand thoroughly for at least 20 seconds after touching suspected contaminated surface is the most important precautionary measure to stay safe from corona. Take care of yourselves, your kids and everyone. Stay safe, stay home.